Hello there, my name is Ismas and welcome to another Blender Daily Tip and today we're going to be looking at how to spawn spaceships above a flying over a city like this. Uh, let me show you just what I mean. I just have to let this share the compile for a second. Uh, but uh, basically this is what we're going to be doing. Uh, reduce the sound a bit. You can see. So we have uh, two, let me reduce this. So we have two meshes here, and uh, they are all spawning different spaceships, uh, so that I don't have to animate uh, them over. So that I don't have to animate them manually. So, as you can see, I think it's a nice technique to add some detail over a city like this, and I think we can learn some tips from it. Uh, and uh, the same way I did uh, a spawned. Uh, the spaceships is the same way as spawned uh, the building, the different buildings here. So I have a time lapse of how I modeled the entire scene uh, from start to finish on my second channel, Blender Money. If you want to go and check that out, I watch the entire time lapse from start to finish, you can go and do that. Also, make sure to leave us like, subscribe, uh, so that you can uh, find some of the tutorials I upload there. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's get into it and uh, start working on this. So I'll open up a new Blend uh, project. And uh, just so I don't take too much time, too much of your time, I'm just going to copy some of the spaceships that I've already modeled here, uh, so that I don't have to go through. Maybe I'll do a quick tutorial on how to make uh, simple spaceships like this, but uh, I'll just copy them from this project, on cross C, and paste them in this project. How awesome is that? You don't even have to, to import, you don't have to do anything, you just have to, uh, just have to copy and paste. So these are our spaceships. We are going to randomly spawn over our city. So let me just separate them so that you can easily see them. And you can see that uh, I tried to, to give to maintain a very low polygon count for these spaceships because you can see uh, the city itself, only just the city, the buildings are all uh, taking up a lot of CPU because it's a dense city with a lot of buildings. And uh, so if you make your assets high poly, you're going to run out of CPU if your computer can't handle uh, large polygons. But uh, yeah, let's go into it. So what we're going to use is a particle system. So I'll create a mesh uh, that is going to be our emitter. I'll rotate it on the Y direction, on the Y axis by 90 degrees uh, because we want to spawn our spaceships uh, from this direction. Let me get from this direction to this direction. So yeah, let's create our uh, our particle system. So I'll add, I'll go to the particle uh, context particle whatever this this uh, panel here. Uh, add a new particle system. I uh, play back, and uh, you will notice that uh, right away the particles are falling down in the wrong direction, and they are also going in the wrong direction. We want them to be going in this direction. So I'll go down. Uh, to the settings, to the particle settings, and a force field, uh, and uh, field weights. Uh, you need to turn off the gravity uh, because that's what is pushing these particles down. So if I remove that, they will just have that uh, velocity, normal velocity that is provided by this uh, normal yeah, value here. So if I change this, because we want this to go in this direction, uh, let me see if I can show you the normals. Uh, Think that's mm, face normals size okay so you can see uh, the direction of the normal and since this is a positive value it's going in that direction so if we want to change uh, this uh, to go in the opposite direction we'll have to give this a negative value now that should spawn them going this direction so right now we are just uh, spawning particles so instead of doing that we're going to spawn uh, uh, these meshes here and uh, what I usually like to do is uh, have them in a, a create a group or a collection and uh, I'll name it ships and uh, that's the instance uh, we're going to be spawning so under render settings uh, you can change from render as uh, to from hello to collection and then from the collection settings here uh, select uh, the collection you want to 
uh, to spawn. So you can see we already spawning uh, the spaceships. Uh, the problem is uh, their scale is a bit too small, so we need to increase uh, the scale. And uh, also they are kind of disappearing uh, very fast. Uh, so we can go and uh, up above the emissions in the emission settings and increase uh, the life. So you can increase it to the length of your timeline or to the lengths uh, when uh, those until those uh, spaceships or whatever you're spawning uh, is out of view out of the camera view so let's spawn this for about let's 250 frames uh, which is our uh, which is the length of our timeline so they won't die and right now they are a bit too much uh, it's a lot of particles so we can reduce this to about a hundred uh, spaceships and uh, I don't like how they are sp I think they are spawning correctly and that's good enough because imagine if your camera is around here this wouldn't be too bad and I think we can increase the uh, velocity to about negative five just to increase uh, their speed and also maybe give them some random velocity so that some are faster and some are slower and uh, they will also have that vertical upward motion a very small but uh, it will be there so you can see how this is going up and down like that but you don't want it to be too much uh, because remember we're going to be flying them over a city so you don't want them to be intersecting or colliding with any buildings so let's have a small random number so maybe 0.5 let me see I still too much maybe point point one five and uh, right now they're facing the wrong direction uh, it's tricky to get the right direction to get them to face the right direction so what you can do sometimes is just go under uh, the render settings under co collection uh, then check object rotation uh, this should copy the rotation of uh, the objects and you can see we are getting the right rotation uh, there sometimes it won't work uh, uh, it won't work immediately sorry it won't work as in the first try as uh, as, as it as we have got it to to work right now uh, for example if i rotated this you can see now because my i've changed the direction of my normal uh, they are spawning going in the in the reverse direction so you may need to to play around with the rotation of the objects until you find until you find that uh, they are rotated or they are facing the right direction so i'll just undo this so that uh, i rotate the, so that i have them rotating the other way uh, let me just clear this uh, rotate 180 rotate z 180 great so we have that and i think this can work so then you would just reduce if you don't want them to be spread out vertically like this you just reduce the size of your emitter like that and uh, you can even play around with uh, random you can play around with different settings here and see what you get you can also play around with the, the random scale so that they are not always the same size and uh, and see this is what we have uh, so uh, in my in my final scene here uh, because because I had volumetric stand on uh, you could you, you wouldn't see you would not see uh, the emitter there okay it's somehow visible there but uh, uh, at a good distance it may not be visible so uh, there is a, a render setting uh, you can't uh, switch off this emitter so that it's not rendered uh, and uh, if you go to the outliner and then turn on on the filter check the render button here so that you can see uh, you can activate the render option for every object you have in the scene and uh, turn that off it should be able to turn it off just need to make sure that I'm selecting 
Yes, yeah, I'm selecting the right mesh, but uh, it's not turning it off. It's so, yeah, I don't know, maybe it's a bug, I don't know, but uh, it should be able to turn Oh, actually, if you go under the particle settings and under render, you can turn off show emitter and it shouldn't show. Uh, I think this is a bug, uh, but uh, if you're rendering with cycles, it won't show. I'm sure of this. I think it is showing. I don't know why it's not working, but it shouldn't show. So yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, that's uh, your daily blender tip. Uh, I'll be doing another blender tip on how to make uh, this cityscape with all these buildings uh, that you see here.